Hello everyone, welcome back to the AIMA channel. I'm Joey. Many of you may wonder how a dead headphone amplifier turns signal into the high fidelity music we hear. Today we will take the new AIMA dead A7 as an example and walk you through the process. In audio system, the signal always starts from the source. The digital audio signal goes through keep that light decoding and amplification. Before researching your speakers or headphones as the sound you hear, the DAT A7 is equipped with Ultimate Core Decoding and Amplification Components. They effectively reduce distortion and noise, keeping the signal clean and pure throughout the process. This lays a solid foundation for the sound performance that follows. Now let's take a closer look at these components. Bluetooth chip QCC3084 the QCC3084 handles signal reception and supports high-resolution Bluetooth codes like AppTap, Adaptive, LDAT, and AAC. It's the key to maximizing wireless audio quality, determining the basic line quality of digital audio from your phone or computer. Dapchip ES9038Q2M Its core job is to convert digital audio signal into analog signals. It converts digital signal to analog current with ultra low distortion and noises. Operational amplifier chips OPA1612 and OPA2604. The OPA1612 handles LPF and IV conversion, laying the foundation for ultra pure, highly transparent, and detailed sound. It ensures that the signal entering the analog domain meets the high fidelity standards producing a natural and uncolored sound. The OPA2604 handles tonal shaping at the headphone output, adding transparency ironies and delicate to light harmonies. Headphone amplifier chip TPA6128 The TPA6128 is a high current headphone amplifier, delivering powerful control, dynamic punch, and versatility. It provides solid low-end clean transients and enough driving power for most high-fi headphones, up to 1500 mW and 32 ohms. The combination of OPA1612 and OPA2604 with the ES9038Q2M that makes the sound suitable for everyday headphone listening. It's easier on the ears with vocals and pop music sounding particularly smooth and natural. Next, let's take a closer look at the differences between these chips. First, let's look at the area and feature summary. OPA1612 2010s, more than high fidelity flash featuring low distortion and low noises. OPA2604 1991, crazy fat input sound with high resolution and transparency, featuring a distinctive tonal character with rich even order harmonic coloration. NE5532, 1979, legendary operational amplifier, industrial standard, offering excellent value. Summary represents the technological benchmarks of three different eras. Next, let's move on to THD plus N. OPA1612, 0.00015% at 1 kHz, 5 stars. OPA2604, 0.003% at 1 kHz, 3 stars. NE5532, 0.002% at 1 kHz, 2 stars. Summary in terms of distortion, the OBA1612 reaches audio via great tonal harmony distortion plus noise performance. Clearly, our performance the other two. Now let's look at dynamic response. OBA1612 5 stars. OBA2604 4 stars. Only 5532. 2 stars. Summary OBA1612 and OBA2604 offer better dynamic response and superior transient performance. Finally, let's compare timber performance. OBA1612 Highly natural, 
precise and transparent are with outstanding resolution and control, without any artificial coloration. Its straightforward style makes it highly appealing to listeners seeking a faithful reproduction. OPA 2604 F Center 2 Light Harmonies, delivering an airy, smooth, and slightly sweet sound with vocal random, pressury, and effortlessly. NE5532 Warm, full body, and easy on the ears with a classic character, but exhibiting only moderate resolution and treble extension. Overall, the Z87 combines modern high fidelity transparency with the new and clarity and warm characteristic of crazy and around equipment, delivering an exceptional listening experience. At the same time, it delivers powerful and effortless driving control, bringing out the best in every headphone. It is suitable for a variety of headphones, including high impedance dynamic headphones 300 to 600 ohms, mind three planar headphones, high fidelity in ear monitors. Here are the reasons why you may choose this device. Quite a reason one if you own multiple headphones from head and in ear to crazy over ear and want one device to dry them or with high quality. Reason two, you want the convenience of wireless use while still enjoying the ultimate wide sound quality. Reason three, you appreciate a delicate, transparent sound with analog flavor while demanding strong dynamics and control. Reason 4. You want comprehensive uh, connectivity without the hassle of adapters. Alright, that's for today's video. See you next time. Bye!